what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash and i hate when a hair tie is on my wrist hi guys i'm so glad to be back on camera today because i have some things i want to tell you and you guys know i love you guys so freaking much i actually just posted that on my story on youtube yesterday just telling you guys how much i appreciate the support that you guys just show and like sending me pictures on instagram i absolutely love it i try to go through my dms as often as possible and you guys showed me all the things that you guys have been purchasing since my last video and i love that and thanks for sharing that with me and if you haven't yet make sure you follow me on instagram at ash 220 underscore and you can follow me on tiktok at living ash 20 i post content similar to this on my channel here and i post like other stuff too that i like anyway so I had to get on here it is sunday and i feel like i'm always filming on a freaking sunday um but i have some things i gotta show you and i'm really really excited about this i told you guys a couple videos ago that when i found out about this release okay i would be the first to tell you and i mean first as in i'm gonna tell you as soon as i know because i know i wish i knew sooner back then okay <laughs> so this is what happened so i called up trader joe's i said hello hi i actually go to trader joe's every single sunday i like to get my groceries trader joe's is that spot so if you haven't been to trader joe's you definitely need to go and try it out but i just had happened to call trader joe's asking them about the brazil nut body butter because somebody messaged me on instagram yesterday shout out to you and told me that it would be available september 13th the day i'm going to be releasing this video is september 12th so you do have a day in advance notice so i called just to find out maybe to just you know verify and the man said that they had it in stock and i could go pick it up right then and there it is september 12th this is the day before they were even supposed to have it but he told me that they were limited stock so what i'm talking about is the brazil nut body butter if you've been following me for a while you know but if you haven't welcome this is one of my favorite body creams and in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my self-care must-haves let me just walking around chilling very chill vibes i don't know how long it's going to be short it's going to be i don't know whatever i get i'm just going to show you things that i literally have that i just know if i didn't have i'd be trying to get okay but this body butter is a trader joe's brazil nut body butter it is so good it's a delightful salted caramel and pistachio scent this is very similar to the brazilian boom boom cream which is an all over body cream which many people think is for your butt only no this is all over your body okay and it leaves you smelling so good now the pros okay of this right this is only 5.99 i believe <laughs> don't quote me but i believe it's 5.99 this is drum roll please i don't even think i'm gonna have a drum roll clip in here this is 45 dollars i'm telling you it's expensive so i had to come on here and tell you that this will be available at trader joe's but there is a very limited supply and living ash you know me okay this is the one i have for the longest let me show you guys what it looks like inside so i haven't even finished mine yet because i was super fearful of never being able to get it again and i was one of those people who unfortunately had to order from resale website so i paid more than double the price for this but no 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 i went to trader joe's baby and i got not one not two not three but four of the brazil nut body butters now they're not all for me but i had to pick them up i did pick up you know one more for myself because i need it and then one for my mom and i'm gonna give some away to some of my friends but i have to let you guys know about it because it smells decadent delicious this is one of those things where i'm gonna say if you don't want to spend the money for this you can definitely get this and get that same effect and i really am like encouraging you to go pick this up this is better than in my opinion the coconut body butter they have the pumpkin body butter is nice but this is their top seller it sells out super duper fast lady the cashier told me straight up oh my gosh girl you're you're lucky to pick it up when she picked it up she knew it was gonna sell she said she bought three for herself so if i'm hyping anything up to you it's gonna be this okay let me show you close up because you guys are probably like i want to see this is the brazil nut body butter right here from trader joe's it's so pretty and i'm so surprised that they brought it back because it really wasn't supposed to be back for another year or so this is an absolute must have for me in my collection it's affordable it's moisturizing and of course it smells super duper good so i'm telling you right now living ash said and y'all better send me pictures when you guys go to the store and you buy them because living ash said ash said go freaking get it because don't be me i had to buy 
I had to spend mad money to get it resale price, so don't do it. Um, so that's a must, okay? A must, <laughs> okay. Now let me show you two more things that I have like right next to me that are absolute must-haves that I feel like if you have a collection or anything like that, you're gonna wanna add these things. I actually have been searching for the Jergens Blue Lotion. I have a Shop With Me video that's gonna come up soon and you're gonna see my struggles and tribulations and my trials um, trying to get it and I still don't have it. Um, still don't have it, but um, I did order it online so I will be able to purchase or well, try it out on Tuesday but a must-have for me I'm looking over is these lotions from Dove now in terms of like very thick I like a really thick lotion something that I feel like I'm gonna feel on my skin but it's very lightweight these are the new and I want to say they're new only because I've never seen them before these are the Dove body love lotions I posted them on my TikTok the best new body lotions in Walmart and these are very very good I have to give it to them on these because the smell is very nice moisturization okay I would say if you have a very very dry skin I wouldn't say this would be your main moisturizer I'd say going with a body oil or maybe a body butter and if you want to use this you can but I've been using this at nighttime and my skin has felt very good it's been moisturized throughout the night I feel really good oh my god There was a spider on my wall, y'all. Uh-uh, I don't do bugs. I don't. Anyways, let me show you close up. This one is the Dove Body Love Restoring Care Body Lotion. This is the 48-hour moisture plus with restoring ceramide serum. You can see this straight up close up for you right here. This is what she looks like. And of course, let me show you the one that I just purchased. And this was like super dope to me. This is the Cream Oil Pampering Care Body Lotion. So this is giving like vanilla and kind of like a nutty type of scent. But I had to get it. Oh my gosh. And you guys, they have it in mango and they have it in another like blue bottle. But this is what I've tried out and I really do like these. And if you like big body lotions, you're going to want to get this and put it into your collection. So one thing, this is not necessarily a must have, but I did get this from Trader Joe's and I am going to try it. This is the Trader Joe's Head to Toe Moisturizing Balm and No Greasy Residue. So if you don't like a greasy feel, you can try this out. It was very affordable. So if you just want to try, you can. This is what it looks like. Go ahead and check out Trader Joe's. It's one of my absolute favorite stores right now. And boom. And for my last video, check it out if you haven't. I wanted to get this Jergens Softening Vanilla Lotion. You can only find this in, I believe, Dollar General. I believe that's the only place right now that I've been able to find it. But it smells really, really good. Anything vanilla, it has to be a good vanilla though. I noticed with a lot of brands, they like to switch up the vanilla and make it like vanilla with like fruits in there and all that i'm like yo i want a pure vanilla that's why i love the kaoli perfume so much and that's going to be one of my must-haves i'm going to show you out of my perfumes what a must-have is but i really like this it's a very light scented vanilla so if you want to go in with a nice perfume if you want to go in with like anything else that's really a heavy hitter you could definitely use this you can see it right here softening vanilla jergens you're not going to see this in walmart you're not going to see it anywhere else so listen to me if you like vanilla scents like me you're gonna want to try this one out okay so a must have for me deodorant wise because i have a lot of things i'm gonna just get up and show y'all i'm gonna have to buy a new one because i've used the hell out of this okay um this one is the hey humans deodorant this is the hey humans in the banana aloe i have not been able to find natural deodorants that worked for me like you know i it took a while like i was like yo like i'm not on the natural deodorant vibe i just wasn't with it but if you're looking for a natural deodorant the hey humans banana aloe is really really good it's one of my favorite ones i've tried other scents from hey humans and i just wasn't a fan of it I have this one right here, which I thought I would like, but I didn't. It, get, it, it smelled weird after a while. Like it, it, I don't want to keep smelling it, and it's weird. So this is the lavender vanilla. Um, it works. It works in terms of like odor prevention, things like that. But like scent wise, I don't like the scent, and I won't repurchase. And the only thing that I also use that's really really helpful is native but since i fell in love with hey humans my native kind of was pushed to the side but it still really works well for me um i just right now i'm using one more than the other so in terms of natural deodorant hey humans is top like top 
number one <laughs> like i don't even know how to explain it so on my face i'm gonna show you an essential the sun bum face mist i use this every day every single day and i'm gonna show you guys my kiehl's moisturizer in a second because that's a must have too so i'm very particular with what i use on my face however i am very open to different products like recently my face has been breaking out a lot and it could be attributed to my diet it could be attributed to stress whatever it is going on in my life so i use a kiehl's facial cream and i don't even know okay so yeah i use my sun bum and then i use my kiehl's facial cream if you know me i've been using kiehl's for so long and i absolutely love the brand i love the products and i really like the way the moisturizer feels on my face it is very pricey but i feel like it's worth the price so that's why i pay it and it makes me feel good especially when i'm doing like my skincare routine i know when i like something because i will literally use it over and over again i have so many products so i can definitely tell you what is good and what's not especially for me so this is my kiehl's facial cream this is what it looks like and i've tried two of them this is like my second favorite one because the other one i have is kind of like discontinued which literally makes me so mad and let me show you because i have some stuff in the bathroom too that i'm gonna get to i want you guys to understand <laughs> when you collect body care hygiene products fragrances anything you want to make sure that you're buying things that you know you're gonna like i'm a person where i will try something one and done and if i don't like it i'm not buying it over and over again like i'm i'm gonna be real with you like i'm gonna be so real with you i wouldn't repurchase this jergens cloud cream i just wouldn't i bought it i got to share it with you guys and it's okay like i wore it today um i was gonna show you guys my sense of the day but i guess i'll show you at the end of the video um and make sure you give the video a thumbs up right now and drop team mash in the comments so i know that you're watching and you're supporting but it's um yeah this is like not a repurchase for me this will last me a very long time however but it is not going to be a repurchase that's the thing like i do like to try different things out the fruity pebbles body butter and the cocoa pebbles body butter that i showed in my last video absolutely not like i don't like it i don't like it at all um it just wasn't what i thought and i really was disappointed with that and I'm, i'll just be so real but next thing on my self-care list like and we're just doing the sit down stuff and then i'm gonna take you guys to the bathroom perfume stuff and just show you guys a little bit around my room but it's low-key messy right now so we're gonna work around that anyways lips lip care is so 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 important to me i will tell you like i don't go a day without putting on lip care lipstick lip gloss lipstick online lip gloss or anything like that because my lips that's one thing about me my lips are never ever ever chapped i i just don't get chapped lips and that i feel like that's just like a genetic thing um but it's and also could be attributed to how much water i drink and of course the fact that i take really good care of my lips i'm always 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 putting a moisturizer on my lips in the morning at night before i even got introduced to the next product that i'm going to show you i absolutely fell in love with this vaseline lip therapy i was purchasing these non-stop back then but i stopped purchasing them because i have so many now so this is it this is my favorite one from vaseline this is the vaseline lip therapy in the creme brulee you can see how much i've already used of it it's nearly gone it's one of my absolute favorites there's a certain feel that i get from a lip care item like i just know like i feel really really good when i'm using it so that's when i'm like okay yeah i can recommend it to you everybody likes different things that's just the truth it's i'm a i'm my own person you're your own person but i can only tell you what works for me and what i like and if you want to try it out you can but i'm telling you that's what i like but the next product that i want to show you and don't mind me here i am with the red bra strap i just hate it but i need to wear a bra today um <laughs> i actually fell in love with the tatcha lip mask i absolutely am obsessed with the tatcha lip mask i think i saw it in someone's haul like it was like a makeup youtuber i can't remember it i saw it in multiple places i saw it on tiktok i've seen it everywhere the tasha lip mask is actually what is on my lips right now that's what's giving my lips like that gloss it is absolutely amazing i do like very sticky lip glosses but i don't like a lip gloss that's gonna stick and you see it literally sticking this doesn't do that i could do this and there's no like streaky weird lines okay so this is it this is a luxury purchase i'm definitely gonna say that straight up and it comes with this very cute little spatula i just used it to apply it on my mouth the tatcha lip mask is going to be a necessity especially for me like I going to sleep i'm putting on my lip mask and the fact that i could wear it during the day i've got to try the lineage or lin whatever that brand is i've got to try their lip mask but from using that tatcha mask i don't know if anything is going to level up because i'm very very particular in um what i use 
on my lips so that's that and i also got into the summer fridays lip balm i won't say this is a necessity but it is something that i like and i did want to show you along with something that is a necessity for me um this is my summer fridays body lotion i know i like it because i have so much lotion and if i could like blow the air out of this like it's 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 gonna be done soon and i'm actually like i need to go buy a new one like it's really not full and this is the summer fridays lotion i got introduced to summer fridays um and i it was off their little shimmering body oil right so i saw the shimmering body oil and i tried it out and i liked it so i decided you know let me branch off and try some other products from the brand so i actually picked up the summer fridays nourishing body lotion and the scent on it is actually like a coconutty vanilla um blossom with warm almonds but i have to tell you it's not very heavily scented at all it's but it's one of the most moisturizing lotions that i have and i, I just feel like nobody told me about this like i literally just saw it and i was like oh it smells good it does it, it it's not a heavily scented lotion but it has scent to it and it smells very 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 good so this is the summer fridays lip balm um and then this is the lotion together so i really like the summer fridays line their products are very very good you can buy them at sephora um and i had to share that with you because i i'm obsessed like i absolutely love them and i don't know i'm just i'm just raving about the things that are just must-haves so this is something i've talked about like i don't know how many times i've actually talked about this but I'm gonna talk about it again. The Laura Mercier Ombre Vanilla Souffle, this is the body cream, is a must have in my collection. I do not have another one of these only because it is very, very expensive. I paid $65 for this body lotion, but this is the best $65 I've ever spent on a body cream. You don't even need the perfume with this body cream. You will smell good. This is a major compliment getter and not enough people talk about this. There's an almond scent. There's a creme brulee scent and she used to have a, like a pistachio scent, but it just doesn't exist anymore. I don't know what happened. This is my favorite body cream ever. I feel super confident when wearing it. I know I smell good when wearing it. I get it all up in my neck okay all my arms all my legs everywhere i don't wear it to bed because it's strong this is it and i highly recommend if you can do anything for your self-care routine anything like that you need to try out scented body butters if you can get like the carolina herrera good girl body cream if you can get a body cream of any perfume that you have it's really really going to help the longevity of your fragrance the projection you're going to smell good way longer it's just going to be amazing like your whole life is gonna change once you have a body cream that is just very heavily scented so this is the laura mercier you can see it right here when i first started my channel this was something that i talked about because i just fell in love and i just i don't know what i'm gonna do when i'm done because i think i'm gonna order one today that's how much i am obsessed with it and um it's almost done like i don't use things if i don't like them and it, it's nearly done and it's gonna leak over i already know it's so oh i got it on my mouth oh my god help me <laughs> but it's it's so good you guys it's absolutely divine and if you don't have it please if i don't know i'm pleading to you guys because i just know how i i wish i could literally make you guys smell it if, if um somebody who creates technology can invent a way for me to make you smell things through the camera i absolutely would invest in that technology so that i can share things with you guys like that because i'm just telling you what the heck i like so a staple in my routine perfume wise because i'm gonna get up right now and just show you guys some of the perfumes that are just absolute must is my kaoli you guys know you were there with me the day i picked this up it is almost done like and i know that for a fact because i'm actually gonna save it because this is actually so hard to get right now it's sold out almost everywhere i've used this much and it's only been a couple of weeks of my kaoli perfume this is a major dent right now and i have used this if not almost every day this is the most pure vanilla perfume that i have i don't know if i can find anything similar to it and if i do i will let you know but this is an absolute must have in my collection if you know me i love kaoli perfumes um the lasting power for me if i spray it on my clothes it does give me a few hours and i really like that and it does layer well with any other fragrance that you have you can wear a really spicy perfume and just add it add this because it gives you a nice hint of vanilla there so i'm telling you right now if you don't have a kaoli 
try the kaoli perfumes i have the deja vu white flower which was my scent of the day yesterday um i've used quite a bit of this already as well but again this was a little purchase a little after so you can see how much i love this vanilla 28 and now i'm gonna get up and i'm just gonna kind of like walk around and show you guys some things that are um must-haves for me so like I'm just looking around now to see if I missed anything. So I'm going to talk about my wax melts, the scents that I have, things like that. Um, and just show you guys what the heck is a necessity because I thought this video would be cool. So let's get to the perfume wall. So on this wall right here, <sighs> looking at these, really none of these are necessary. Oh no. The Armani code is something I've talked about in my most used. However, I don't know if this would even be a necessity. A lot of these are not necessities for me. I don't really care for them in the sense where I'm like, okay, if I run out, I'm going to need to buy it back. But it's actually this one right here has to be one of them. This Chanel number no. five fragrance is amazing to me. I am gonna actually get some more Chanel perfumes. If you know anything about Chanel, these perfumes are just incredible. Chanel fragrances are really one of a kind in my opinion so i'm telling you guys this is one of my necessity perfumes here you can see how much i've used my coco chanel this is the mademoiselle um it's just incredible and i love them up here honestly i can't tell you any of these are really necessities for me like i really don't see these as absolute you need it the only thing i would say are my laura mercier fragrances right here um but the creme brulee is not a necessity fresh fig is not but the vanilla is okay but my ombre vanilla perfume which i just ran out of i think if i have the bottle i will show you um that would be a necessity to, to be honest like there's only probably two fragrances here right now and um i'm gonna show you one of my compliment getter perfumes this is a major compliment getter fragrance so i have to tell you this may be a necessity because i love when i know i'm gonna get a compliment um and i'm gonna tell you that right now so let me show you my laura mercier bottle that has been used right here we have an empty ombre vanilla you can tell it's gone it's literally empty but this is the only laura mercier fragrance that is a necessity for me and i have a backup already so i'm not gonna tell you guys that i'm buying a new one because i don't have to because i already have one in my collection now in my really messy drawer i'm gonna show you which one of my lip glosses are a necessity these my nyx butter glosses are an absolute necessity i really almost don't go a day without using them i have so many nyx butter glosses um i love nyx butter glosses like literally you can see how many i have and how much of them i use you can see i don't like this kylie lip gloss i have to tell you it's very weird i feel all the sparkles on my lips so i'm gonna tell you that i don't like that um and i do love the nyx butter glosses they are necessities i have this one this is my favorite oh cookies and milk um you can see my love for lip glosses here but if you've ever watched and um if you're new i want to show you a lip gloss that i absolutely stand by so this is my clinique super bomb moisturizing gloss i will buy it in every form yes they're different colors but they don't leave much of a tint on your lips this will give you a nice little bronzy type look on your lips um and don't worry about these makeup brushes but it'll give you a nice bronzy type look but it is a lip gloss it's clear these lip glosses are absolutely essential to me and um if you haven't tried them yet please do because i believe they're gonna go out of stock very very soon and um i would hate for you guys to miss out on these because they're very good and they're my favorites um out of everything it's my nyx butter glosses my tatcha lip mask and my um clinique so i had to show you guys that just a few things i have in here my nyx eyebrow pencils i do my eyebrows everywhere i go so i use the nyx professional um eyebrow pencil and i use a bottom part for my edges but this is so so good and i always use this this is one of my must-haves this is the smoldering oh gosh my camera won't focus the smoldering um eyeliner pencil from l'oreal this is so amazing too and i had to show you because these two are necessities and i don't leave my house without them um and i have a thousand nyx um pencils <laughs> you can see down in here in my little closet here i have some lotions but you guys will see a huge change coming soon with these because i'm just realizing what i like and what i don't like but you're the one has become a necessity i still can't finish this bottle because i haven't been going many places but you're the one is definitely a necessity and i will show you why right now i have an entire bin right here gosh here we go i have a lot of sunday cleaning to do 
Oh, but I have an entire bin right here of brand new lotions that I actually purchased on sale. I think they had like a lotion sale one time. So I have You're the One lotion here. You're the One lotion here. Um, I don't like Hibiscus Paradise. So I think I need to give this to my mom. But I believe she has two of them already. But um, those are really the necessities. I have a lot that... These are all not used yet. So these are my backups for the sense that I was trying. I'm just going to show you what's in here. No. Um, and then we have Belize, which I really liked at a point in time. I just got over it. Let me show you this. Ooh. So this is the English laundry uh, from Marshalls. And this is terrible. It smells good. And then it lasts 2.5 seconds. I would highly um, not recommend this. And it was not good. So just showing you that. And another necessity is my dr teal's body oils i use these body oils like no tomorrow i just finished two bottles okay so i actually um don't know if i'm gonna like this hemp seed oil one but i just saw it recently so i said okay let me try it so that's what i did they're very affordable at big lots so that's where i buy them but i have a coconut oil one that i'm gonna be using so we're gonna see how that goes but it's been this, my Dr. Teal's Moisturizing Body Oils. I use this every single day. This is not a haul video, but it's must-haves. I'm going to tell you straight up, are these little trees for my car. I love when my car smells good. That is something I take pride in. I also smell good, and my car smells better, okay? So good, all right? So I have my Vanilla Aroma. This is the Vanilla Aroma. I get these from Dee Dee's Discount. That's where I buy all of my stuff for my car. I got all of these, and I'm actually going to spend the rest of the day after this video and cleaning out my car and just, you know, making it smell nice. The Black Ice, majority like men buy this, I guess, but uh, yeah, I'm going to buy it too because it smells so good. And I'm going to share these with my parents because, you know, they have cars too. So I would love for them to just try out some things because I have a lot of these. But I love them. This one is the sunset beach which smells like sunscreen which is so cool and then you have this one which is morning fresh i don't know how it smells i'm trying it for the first time so we're gonna see if that's even any good this is like a strawberry lemonade type of scent so i don't know and then i have this right here which i'm gonna just put in the car it's cucumber melon which i don't really like but they have a fresh linen here so yeah and then this is gonna go in there and no i don't put all these in there at once i just like to buy them all at once when i go to Dee Dee's. i have my bath and body work stuff here that i need to haul for you guys all the like new fall stuff but you know i still haven't gotten to that okay so i'm in the bathroom now and i'm going to show you like my bathroom must-haves okay so right now a must-have i bought this not long ago and it's almost done this is my thera breath oral rinse healthy gums this is the clean mint scent i use this and then i use this i use both of them i just do this is done too done and i gotta just buy them i use these night and day both of them this is like you know i feel like it's really working in there but it's not really giving you that scent scent but this is gonna give you that minty freshness that like i crave okay so this is my scent of the day i actually um use these two so this is the clean simply clean um, and then I used the beachfront blanket from Bath and Body Works and my lotion was the white t-shirt from Bath and Body Works And I kind of mixed it with the uh, Jergens cream cloud and toothpaste wise. I was using this um, This is the Colgate baking soda and peroxide whitening But I decided to switch it up when I worked with kiss my face and I really used the heck out of this This is the triple action um, Removes plaque and it has tea tree oil and aloe and like all that good stuff So I've been using the kiss my face and um sunscreen ha the um toothpaste so that's what i've been using must haves and my floss which isn't in here i literally i know it is i just bought the new glide pro health floss so i just use this i use a lot of these i have like four of them in here like so many of these they're literally must haves for me and my toothbrush is so basic i have to actually get a different one this is the colgate toothbrush um i'm very particular with what toothbrush i use and um in terms of like oral hygiene right here um and my tongue scraper but i can't see it 
<sighs> I have to do some cleaning today, guys. So this is definitely a must have for me. So if you've watched my how to remove armpit odor video, I talked about the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. This actually really helps. When you get out the shower, you can just put it on like a cotton pad and just use it. And it could actually be used as a deodorant. So it helps to like exfoliate the skin and takes off that bacteria. So this has become a necessity for me. However, I don't use it every single day, but you can try it out and see if you like it. But that's what I've been using. Let me see. Nothing in here is a necessity. And um, nothing in here is a necessity. Let's go to the shower. Um, a necessity for me right now is definitely my Soap and Glory shower oil and my um, L'Occitan shower oil. I use these very often. I use a shower oil almost every um, every other shower depending I use this one this morning and you can see both of them close up you know me shower oil call me the shower oil queen because I, I I just love shower oils and they just add such a vibrant you know extra piece into my routine I always have a bath and body works soap in here but I wouldn't say any one of these are a necessity but I, I gotta give you guys a quick review on the fairy tale so when I first reviewed fairy tale I told you guys that this smelled very soapy to me off rip i was like mm, maybe it's not gonna be good but when you use it in the shower and you actually lather up with it it's so good it's so perfumey this is so nice if you're gonna go out and you want to smell really nice this is perfect for layering with like a nice expensive perfume so get fairy tale in the shower gel girl get it in the shower gel okay no my camera battery's dying oh i need to get a new battery hold on oh lord oh goodness so zoomed in <laughs> okay so what was the last thing i talked about i don't even remember but yeah my bath and body works so so body wash wise because i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you i only gravitate towards a few things my ogx coffee coconut scrub and wash is a necessity i'm out of it it's gone um i just finished it i can't even dig in the garbage to show y'all and i wouldn't do that but i wanted to show you an empty because you know i don't do empties because I, I just physically cannot keep all the products around um my space is not um equipped for that so i try to show you whatever i'm using when i finish it body wash wise there's only two things that i feel like are my must-haves right now that i'm like i've been loving this this is very different you're gonna go and pick this up and be like ash i bought it and i'm gonna look at it and you're gonna pick up the wrong one because i know you're not gonna look good a lot of people do and they think they're picking up this one this is different the smell on this is like the most clean person i've ever smelled this is the sensitive micellar water dove not the sensitive skin one not here look at it this is what it looks like it has a little drop of water here it's a sensitive micellar water dove i've never smelled a dove like this and i can't find it again <gasps> oh my goodness i use this every shower every shower and it makes me smell so good just saying and then i use my dr bronner's you can tell i've been using it ah i love when i use all my stuff like and dr bronner's eucalyptus body wash you guys know it is so good and it's a must have for me i will use this every shower too like legit and if you struggle with armpit odor or acne try panoxyl i oh my gosh that always scares me try panoxyl because it's very helpful to help get off that bacteria and you know to really get a good clean in you feel me so i've been using panoxyl too but bar soap wise nothing really is a necessity um but I like this. This is my, yeah, when I mean nothing's a necessity, it's only this. This is the peppermint bar soap from Dr. Bronner's. Um, I use this and this depending on the day. This is the peppermint one, so it's gonna burn a little bit if you put it in places you shouldn't put it, but I haven't really experienced that to be honest, but a lot of people have, but it's um, these two. So the peppermint bar soap from Dr. Bronner's and the body wash from Eucalyptus, you know. So we're getting down to the last things, honestly, and then I'm gonna show you like, some of my wax melts and stuff but for my face i don't use makeup wipes at all i have i don't even remember the last time i used a freaking makeup wipe i use a squalene cleanser from the ordinary look at that like literally almost done so this removes my makeup completely takes it right off and i've been using this for like two years now and it's been the best replacement for makeup wipes and you know all that other stuff oils and things like that so if i'm honest it's just a bit expensive for the fact that it doesn't like if you wear makeup every day it's a lot so 
um but it's very very good i really like it and i use my the same thing every day to wash my face the cerave salicylic acid renewing cleanser um this is literally what i use on my face and i'm actually going to be switching it up soon but this has been necessity for me like that's just been what i use so give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel i'm going to show you guys some things that i um use to make my house smell good because candles are a necessity candles are a necessity I literally keep all these here so i have my candle i have my febreze and my lysol up here so and baby wipes are a necessity too i have wax warmers here so right now i'm using the oh gosh right now i'm using the marshmallow crispies from the um sensational brand my camera is just giving me a hard time gosh, really camera what in the world it's like it wants to focus on everything but this here we go, Marshmallow crispy Sugar Rush. That's what's in here right now. And then I used this in my room the other day, the Lemon Blueberry Donuts. We love it. And this one has definitely become a necessity in my house. This is the Downy Febreze. And it smells so good. In my laundry room, I've just finished these. These were the pink ones. <laughs> I can't even, the down, I don't know which one it was. And then I'm using the Unstoppables. And um, over here we have this one, the Downy Infusions Calm I've been using, but that's really it. I know I have another blue one, but I can't find it. Over here we have, I just bought this candle today actually, because candles are a necessity. This right here is the Mainstay, and this is in the Crispy Treat scent, so it's going to kind of smell like cereal. And then I have another wax warmer here, and I have another candle here. I don't play, I have candles everywhere and up here we have another candle this is the ice cream sandwich and we have this centile musk but this is for decoration i don't even burn this but that is really it for my hygiene self-care body care fragrance essentials um i just wanted to show you guys the things that i use every single day like i use so many things every day um but every day like essentials i have more I didn't even show you guys my body butters too. I have some body butters that I use all the time. But let me know if you guys want to see a part two. I really wanted to get this video out to you because it was like on my head. Like I just felt like, you know when you just feel to do it? Like I'm really passionate about what I do. So when I think about it, I'm like, oh, like how do I do it and edit it and get it up? Because I want to share it right now. But thank you guys so much for watching and so much for supporting me. And leaving positive comments on my page because I only do positivity. Like, Lord knows, I can't do it. <laughs> Like, I just don't like this has been an amazing humbling experience for me being able to come online every single day and just talk to you guys and share things with you and uplift you because I know a lot of the times we're going through things people are going through things their own little struggles battles and you know just it's like you just want to get away from that stuff so shout out to you like you guys are such amazing people you're a boss queen vibes only king vibes only I love you so very much and um yeah Thank you guys so much and leave a red heart in the comments if you made it this far like the video subscribe if you haven't yet sometimes youtube unsubscribes people which is so annoying but um yeah make sure you didn't get unsubscribed and follow me on instagram at ash220 underscore and livingash20 on tiktok and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys